but can you tell me your name? Amber Berry. What I think Amber should be doing is, is playing with friends, riding her bike in the park, doing homework, and uh, uh, seeing what's going on out in the world. What she shouldn't be doing is getting chemotherapy and fighting cancer. Amber is 11 years old and was diagnosed three years ago with leukemia and has been putting up a tremendous fight ever since those three years. So it's been a long, a long journey um, that we're coming to the end of now, but um, it's, it's, been, um, it's been tough. Amber has actually taught me a lot how to be strong because she's just resilient. We admire her resiliency, her courage, her bravery. If she attacks on the pitch the way she has attacked cancer, then we have an all-star on our hands. Congrats, Amber, on being part of the locomotive team. We're happy to have you. Well, let me bring in someone who is super tired to meet you. How's it going? I'm Drew. I'm Renee. Nice, nice to meet you. This is Amber. She's Hi. actually our newest locomotive. She signed her contract on Friday. Oh, really? Um, Congratulations. So Welcome to the team. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're part of the team now. We're going to need you. We have some injuries. So. <laughs> it's really neat because I think it it's good for the community to see that there are for one, that there are kids that are out there that are battling this and that, um, you know, awareness, it brings awareness to um, be able to rally around her or, you know, bring and for her to be able to show strength to others that are battling, um, whether they're adults or children, that, you know, um, you can do this and it shows a more positive side to it. So it's an honor. It really is. Yeah, do you want to play? You want to play tomorrow? Which one of these guys that you can play? Who should I take out so you can play? Which one? Pick one. Know. Which position are you going to go? Are you going to go in goal? It's very overwhelming knowing that there is people out there that are supporting me and other kids who are going through treatment, knowing that there's people supporting them through their journey that they know they can stay strong and like never ever give up. So a lot of, uh, a lot of people here might not know that you designed the poster for tomorrow. What was the inspiration behind that? I draw the train where a girl is holding it up, so it, I wanted to draw it for that showing girls are strong when it comes to also like fighting something or in general in normal life that they're stronger than they think. I gave her the cape of gold which is childhood cancer. Art, art has been just her little niche that just kind of took her away from whatever was going on at the moment so while she was inpatient she would draw. So um, when she actually thought about this girl power theme, she immediately thought of, well, you know, herself being a warrior because um, that's what gets you through something tough like this, just her strength. It's pretty awesome to know that they are doing this. It's, it's going to be really cool just to see it. And it's awesome that they were doing this for us, us and all the patience and all that. It makes me very proud um, because I see something that was so um, devastating for our family and yet it is being turned around into something positive. And years from now, all of us, we're all going to be able to look back and see how, you know, look at, look at what Amber accomplished and this didn't knock my baby down, you know, it, it, it gave her muscles. <laughs> so um, she's going to look back and be able to see how many lives she's touched. And to me that's just amazing because I never, I never would have expected that, never.